walk around, act like they know what hate means? Nah, no one does until you hate yourself. And truly hate yourself. That's power. It's impossible for words you look to describe what is necessary to those do not know what horror means. You think I have nothing to offer but pain? Only I know you love pain. Pain reminds you the joy you felt was real. More joy than In today's video, I'll be talking about how I recently achieved top 50 in the world in Deadman mode, as well as my other recent achievements on my other characters. If you liked today's video, please make sure to click the subscribe button below and leave a like and comment on the video. In my previous update video I uploaded back in August, I spoke about my future plans for Deadman mode. Specifically, I stated that I had cancelled my plans to grind my way up to the front page and into the top 25 in the world. This was a lie. The truth is that I've had my character at the Sandcrafts for the past two months training the defense skill. This grind has elevated me onto the second page on the Dead Man high scores and into the rank 50 position. This grind has also got me into the rank 4 position on the defense high scores for this game mode. My plan is to continue this AFK grind and finish 200 million defense in Dead Man mode. In my next update video, this grind should be finished and we'll be looking to grind onto the next skill. The recent expansion to Valmore has caught my attention in regards to this character and I've had ideas on what other skills I would like to begin grinding, so stay tuned for further updates. Over the past two months, I have completed 99 agility on my pure and all my Iron Man characters. I've begun running laps on both of these characters in between Slayer tasks on my main, and over the past month, I have done 4.6 million Slayer XP on cannon only tasks while I was training agility on both of my characters. This grind started with two weeks of Wilderness Slayer in September, where I gained 2k Slayer points. I wanted to build back up my Slayer points so that I could skip tasks that could not be cannoned. Burst tasks or more efficient methods of training the skill were not a priority for me. I simply wanted to find a skill that I could easily AFK while I was training my other characters and I found it through the Slayer skill. Trolls, Araxites, Calphites, Greater Demons, Black Demons, Abyssal Demons, Dagonos and Hellhounds have been tasks that I've been doing while everything else has been skipped or blocked. This is because there are zones in the game where I can set up my cannon to begin doing tasks and with the cannon active I only have to click my character a few times to sip a potion while training my other characters. This AFK method of training the Slayer skill gave me time in between tasks to run laps around Ardoin on both my Pure and Ultimate Iron Man to finish 99 agility on both characters. Since then I have moved on to other grinds on both characters. For example I finished the rune crafting set from Guardians of the Rift on my Pure so that I could begin making blood runes on Zia. I am also in the process of unlocking the same set on my Ultimate Iron Man and I am looking to begin grinding 99 runecrafting on this character as well. All the way back in April of this year, I made a video talking about going for 99 runecrafting in free game modes. This was supposed to be the hardcore group Iron Man game mode, as well as the hardcore and ultimate Iron Man game modes as well. But as I revealed back in August, my group hardcore lost its life after I achieved 99 runecrafting on the character. After I finished my runecrafting set on my ultimate Iron Man, I'm going to be finishing 99 RC on my hardcore, ultimate Iron Man and pure, whilst finishing the fletching skill in between runs to the runecrafting always on Zio. I have already finished 99 fletching on my pure and hardcore, while my ultimate Iron Man is 5 away from 99. These grinds are going to carry me over into the new year, and I hope to have them done by January. Well, thanks for watching today's update video. I don't think I have any content to upload for November or December, so this is likely to be my last video for this year. You can find me over on X if you'd like to follow my posts on there. See you next year. I had a lot of pain growing up. I wasn't born who I was meant to be, and it cost me a lot. It cost me my one true love. It cost me the life I was owed, the world I deserved. You're not answering my question. This world around us, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the pain it causes. I'm tired of the disappointment it is. And all I've been trying to do, Elliot, all I ever wanted was to finally bring an end to that dysfunction. 
and deliver us a better world. 